So this is going to end up being a two-part video, apparently, or at least two parts. So I already kind of went through a couple of the basics, went through the, the initial unboxing of the Windsor Design Workbench from Harbor Freight. And so with that, I was just at the point where I was putting the legs on, I was getting the main shelf on there, and so this is the current result. So the two legs are on, I've got that shelf down there, and one of the things to note is that this is something that's a two-person job. So it's like you can do it as one person, but you're going to have a number of things specifically just carrying it, but also the setup is going to be a lot easier with two people. So now I'm going to move on to the next step. So we've gotten up on to the next phase, and at this point, we actually haven't attached anything new. So for the actual installation, they're recommending that you have it flipped upside down to get the parts installed. So we have the top here that is upside down. We have the leg portion with the base that we've assembled. And then we've also taken the sliding partition and put that into place. So there is one of the things that you do want to check to make sure that you have everything properly going forward. So you want to check the alignment stickers. So front, 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 and front. And so all of those going forward, that means that we've all got them facing the right direction. So for this point, another thing that I wanted to touch on is additional tools that you need to know, that you need to have. So this actually would be great uh, to note at the beginning when you're starting out but you do need to have a screwdriver. So that's a Phillips head is the one that I have. And these are the screws, but also on top of that, they do have a part where they call for a drill. So I haven't gotten to that yet. I did look at that ahead of time. So you do need to have a drill as well as a appropriate drill bit. So I will cover that when I get to it. So for this part that I just did, so just screwing in the center portion, so that was the part where you might want to use your, uh, your drill to do pilot holes uh, so that those will be in there securely. Um, and then now we already have this upside down, we have the legs here, and so the next step is actually to attach the legs to the tabletop. So we're gonna go through that with the components they provided. So a word of note when you're attaching the legs here, so the provided wrench or Allen key or whatever it is, that uh, you can use to attach this. You just want to note that um, any of the times you see something where you've got this amount of room, that means it's going to be a little bit tricky. So, of course, if you do have a ratcheting tool or something like that, um, that may make things a little bit easier. You can still do it. Just take a little bit more time and just make sure that you're doing that well. All right, so here's a little bit of plot twist. And we will see how this turns out. But right here we've got step 10 where it says... Use the hex wrench and screws 13 to fasten the sides of the leg to the tabletop underside. And it gives that right there. And you wouldn't use a hex wrench with a screw. So I'm going to progress past this step. That's worth noting. We'll see what happens. There's probably a video of somebody already figuring this out, but I'll figure this out again, or I'll eventually look at their video. We'll find out. All right, so we've got to a step that's actually very notable. So right now we're supposed to be adding the lower support and looking at how it is, it looks like it should be going roughly like that. So essentially this is going to be sitting across. The, that screw's in that there, the screw in there. I'm going to confirm them, but if you look at this, then you'll see that there, that is lining up properly on this side, but it's not quite right on that side. And of course, if you flip it around, it's pretty much the opposite. So it seems like it could go either direction, but it does seem like it's just slightly off. So I'm gonna see if I can manually correct that. 